right then, Mr. Keep It Wheel, <laughs> this is for you. Wow, this. Pindale Pass, everybody. It's brilliant. It's hard work, though. It's bloody hard work because it's so steep and loose. You've just got to try your best to stop that front end from, from slipping, from spinning. I definitely want to come back here again, though. Not necessarily on the twin because the weight of the twin is very apparent on here. I'm just taking it very steady and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going that way or that way. So I'm going to go that way to start with and see what happens. I really hope I haven't got to go back up it. Anyway, thanks for the recommendation, Mr. Keep It Wheel. This is for you, pal. Cheers. Morning, 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 folks. It's nice and early, pre seven o'clock. I brought the Africa Twin out because I realised I've not ridden it for a while. Been playing on the V Strom and the oops, and more recently the new Super Cub. That Super Cub's amazing. That stole on my heart. Let me tell you. You might think I'm crackers, but have you ever ridden one? Maybe need to try it, don't you? Oh, I'll tell you something. Right in that uh, Super Cub round that weighs absolutely nothing, you could pick it up and put it under your arm. Makes you realise how heavy all these, you know, big bikes are. And I always struggle with my back. I always have back issues. So it's been very welcome, that, that one has. Yeah, get up nice and early. And go and catch a sunrise. Oh, not quite the sunrise, but might have some nice colours in the old sky. Temperature are we on? 11 degrees, folks. Autumn is well and truly here. I'm about ready for some cooler temperatures. I know that sounds crackers, but I am. It's nice to get togged up, you know, all your warm stuff on to be able to control your own temperature main reason of today's early morning ride is uh, obviously it's Sunday so it's breakfast at nine-ish it's just uh, it's 20 past seven now but first I'm gonna go and try and do uh, one of my subscribers informed me of a decent lane so I'm gonna go and try it out this morning Pindale Pass going back to that Super Cub I tell you the amount of people that showed respect and uh, admiration for that bike is unbelievable everywhere we went Everywhere we went, any car park that we pulled up in for a break, whatever, you had people looking round it. We're halfway up a bloody off-roading lane, and all these, uh, I can't remember what they were now, I think they might have been Tenere's, come flying down, and they all just stopped and pulled up, and switched off, and they were just really like twinkles in their eyes over the Super Cub. It's bizarre that it's, that, it's a, that much of a, um, a loved and well-respected machine, you know, like I said, over a hundred million, 100 million sales over the last 60 years. Oh man, it's a special bike that is, definitely. You know, because I've not used this bike in a, a good few weeks, I'd forgot how girthy it was as well. Girthy in size and girthy in noise. So I started it up yesterday just to uh, make sure the battery's all right. And it was like, oh, I've forgotten about that. Safe to say, I still love the Africa Twin. Listen to that. Yeah, I'm attached to it, no, no question. I'll be very, very, very sad when this goes. I'll have to have some grip action. Uh, let's put it on number two. So we should be going to Picos week on Sunday. Uh -uh. So that's now postponed to the same week next year. And I should have been taking this. I'm really gutted that I'm not going to get a chance to take this to Spain. I bought some cheap non-GoPro accessories. I know, I know. 
and uh, the first try of my Hero 8, which is that one, you, I stuck it on the back and I got this big long arm to try and take the camera higher and away from me because I thought it would give a really cool perspective. I've gone out for its very first ride and I'd only gone probably five minutes down the road luckily, pulled over this junction, turned around, where was the camera? Not there was it? No! So, thought oh no, oh no, my heart sank. And then I had to basically turn around. Luckily, I'd not taken any other junction, so I knew it had to be on this stretch of road. Um, so I had to turn around, literally, and curb crawl, looking on the other curb all the way back. And I just thought that's going to be gone, or it's smashed to pieces. It's obviously bounced down the road, so it's going to be in a mess anyway. But luckily, there's just a couple of scuffs to the back of it. So have a look at these pics. That shows you how robust GoPro are because that would have bounced down the road. And uh, yeah, I found it. I'm very shocked actually, but yeah, found it. Serves me right. Should always buy genuine folks, and I've said this before. I've just seen this product, I thought, oh yeah, I'll try that. Bought it, 10 quid, bosh. Snapped straight away. My brand new Hero 8 went bouncing down the road. I do also now have the Hero 9, yeah! I'm still waiting for, um, there's a max lens mod that comes with it. I'm still waiting for that to come back in stock before I start using it. But it's got horizon leveling. And that was a sell selling point for me. Horizon leveling. So basically the landscape will stay exact. And you'll be able to see the bike going like this underneath me. Which should look pretty cool. Let's have a little morning uh, off-road action. Uh, tour mode. Use it, use it, off-road. Off-road mode, I'm going to just take it steady because I'm still waking up. Came down here on the V-Stroms the other day on the on route to our little trip uh, to the Lake District. Me, Gaz and Egon. Well, Egon was on his BFR, so he didn't, but me and Gaz came down here. Forgetting Gaz had never been off-road before. We're only going nice and steady, but it is awkward if you've never done it. And uh, turned around, I thought, where's Gaz? Gas on intercom gas. Oh dear, no gas. So we dropped it. <laughs> and do you know what? Caused absolutely no damage whatsoever. Thank God. I did feel that the V Strom was not as comfortable as the Africa Twin doing this. This seems to soak it up a lot better. A lot better. So yeah, this Pindale Pass is um like this I think apparently that I'm going to head to now um, oh that's eroded a bit so yeah I want to uh, go and give it a shot I love this bike nice and steady does it we took the bloody super cubs off road in because <laughs> Bruce had got a Sinis, a Terrain, uh, no, not, no, not Terrain, Apache, with the most rubbishest brake, rubbishest, is that a word? Rubbishest brakes in the world, and if, to the point where, because I was leading, every time I had to come to a, you know, if there were a junction coming up, or um, a bit of a, you know, tight bend coming up, or like, brake, 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 Bruce, brake, 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 <laughs> and you were having to, like, squeeze on his brakes to make it stop um, but that was like a this kind of an off-road like an all-terrain bike so um, he said he wanted to do some off-roading so I, I kept saying to John I don't know Mr. Fish I don't know uh, how uh, you know I'm thinking of certain lanes here and there and I'm like I don't think it's going to be suitable for for us two on these and anyway we just kind of ended up on one by accident and it were absolutely fine absolutely fine Yeah, the Super Cub handles anything, basically. Anything. Look where you want to go, that's where you'll go. Target fixation is very important, folks. Very important. If you see something that you really don't want to go to, ten, nine times out of ten, you'll look at it. And 100% of the time, you will go through it. You will go wherever your eyes look. 
when you're road riding obviously when you come into corners you look as far through the corner as you can and that's where you'll go that's the line you'll hit if you look at the pothole coming up towards you you're gonna hit it if you're really it's any really dodgy ruts you think oh no that's gonna be dead hard to do don't look at it just look over there and your bike will go there it's easy say it's easy it's easier said than done i know it's, it's good to practice it actually all the time when you're doing stuff just look see where you look and see if your bike goes there i always used to remember as a kid when um when i'd uh, progressed from the honda 70 the suit the cub to the uh, to motocross i always used to think why 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 is it i end up where i go where i don't want to go and i can't do anything about it it's just target fixation wherever you look that's where you'll go yeah so i'd, I'd kitted all these uh, put all these mounts on the africa twin ready for spain and it's not gonna happen so then we said well we're gonna do something because we've got it blocked we just can't to do we can't do this quarantine thing so we can't go to spain but we will do something so there's 18 riders then i'd suggested scotland and then they brought in the sick rule of six so that cocked that up and then scotland's brought in that you can't stay in anyone else's house and i planned to go and stay with graham in Dornoch again so empty house sat there and we just can't use it can we it's a real shame i know there's still no rule or, or mention about crossing borders or any any restrictions crossing borders or uh, you know tra traveling freely there's no there's no um, restrictions on that as i know of so you know essentially we might be all right but i just don't know i brought mr fish and teapot one down to see the duke and duchess the other day and had a cup of tea with them a lovely lovely couple they are duke and duchess of devonshire it's so funny as well we had a right good chinwag with them very very windy this morning this juice <laughs> plenty powerful enough for anybody this is Is that it? That looks like it's it. Alright then, let's have a look. Put that onto that. That's it. Oh, it's a little fuck. The 
let's change that to gravel. Be careful here. It's dead loose. Hmm. This could not end well. It's because it's quite steep and very loose. Take it steady. I'm literally just crawling down. That's the hardest bit about it, because it's so loose. We can't need to have a rest a minute. Thanks for this, pal. <laughs> it's very, very loose, actually. I don't know where... Uh, I might even have to go back up this year, I don't know. I'm not relaxed enough. I might just pull up in a minute and just have a minute to try and get my bearings a bit. Steady, steady, steady. See, I'm still, I'm just on my brakes because it's, it's really quite, uh, the gravity, and how loose the stones are, it's bloody hard work. I don't know where to go here. Do we go over there? Oh. Uh, let me at least get a photo here. A bit further. <coughs> Twenty past eight in the morning. Keep it wheel, this is uh, this is for you pal. You weren't joking. Definitely a bit of a tricky pass. But I'm glad I'm glad you recommended it to me because I'll definitely be coming back on here. Just not sure if it'll be on that. You just the weight of the Africa Twin is apparent, if that makes sense. This is one for you, Pete English, on that Husky. end we're up then oh we haven't got to go back up it oh shit oops probably easier than down anyway gravity's on your side then isn't it
damn civilization down here. This could be the end of it. Please. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, 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 slowly. Oof. Yeah. So we're done. I think. Why does it bring us out? Jesus. Keep it wheel. Thank you for that. Took me out of comfort zone there, buddy. Remember that in future if we go back up it. Oh, that was hard. <sighs> Thank you, dude, for that recommendation. That definitely woke me up. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm warmed up now, that that's really warm me up. Oh, I didn't drop you. It was a very strong possibility though. I must admit, I was very nervous up there. It's the not knowing, isn't it? It's the not knowing if uh, one, if you're going to drop it. Two, if you're going the right way and you're going to be in a real mess at the bottom because you need to turn it round and you've got the weight of the bike and gravity against you. I'll probably be more relaxed next time I do that. But I definitely, <laughs> definitely was not relaxed then. Uh, thank you very much, pal, for that recommendation. I didn't even know of its existence, so thank you. Bloody hell. Made me bum twitch a bit, that did. Ah, I know where it is, where all these lorries come flying down to the cement works the other day, of course it is. This is where we parked with the uh, with the Super Cubs, just here. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing like a bit of heavy off-roading before breakfast to wake you up. I can tell my confidence has been shot a lot, look how slow I'm going. Get my head back in the game a little bit. <laughs> that was brill. That was brill. Right, I'm slowly waking up now. Let's go and have some breakfast. It's just a horrible sinking feeling in your belly thinking, one, I'm gonna drop this, two, I'm gonna spoil it, and three, I am gonna hurt myself trying to pick it back up. Off of, of that kind of terrain, I mean. Good girl. Bloody big heavy bike though for doing that. Probably heavier than it needed to be and all because she's got a full tank of fuel on board. Yeah, that would have just been one little mistake and it would have gone. Oof. Oof. Forget how nimble this baby is. Point and shoot it. Breakfast time, folks. I'm ready for a nice cup of tea, actually. To calm my nerves a bit. Right folks, breakfast time. Adios.